City after city, slam after slam, life on the tennis circuit is a constant loop of promotion, press and practice. It feels like it's non-stop, even before I get to the airport. Here it comes, here comes a journey, where am I going, what are my goals when I get there, will I reach them? You get used to living out of a suitcase and traveling in one city and sometimes you wake up and you're like, I don't know where I am, I'm afraid to open my eyes, I don't know where I am. But it's, you know, it's a part of the, the tennis life that a lot of people don't know, but it's great. And often she is straight into press interviews as soon as the plane lands. Playing professional tennis since she was 14, Serena is a well-seasoned traveler. How do you prepare for trips? What are you packing? Do you have a checklist? Or? I do have a checklist. I make sure I have all my electronics. I make sure I drink a lot of water before I get on the plane. I'm always on my iPad. I'm playing. I play a lot of games. I'm not a really serious person, so I play a lot, a lot of games. And if this tennis champion is the ultimate road warrior, her hitting partner is too. Sasha Bajan also tweets about their travels. I mean, you kind of get used to it after a while, but not really because your body always will be exhausted and I'm tired right now and I know she's tired right now, but we're also positive people and, you know, we're all going to push each other a little bit and um, yeah, just know it's a daily, it's just another day, just another job and we just got to finish this day and then tomorrow we're going to be easier. Again. She sits next to me on the plane, I put my privacy screen up, I give her her space, I have mine and that's it. We don't bother each other, I already said, I know, I know she's not one of those people who gets up every five minutes and would cross over you, so we both agree upon on that. Once you sit down, that's your seat, that's my seat and we respect our privacy on the plane. The drive, the dedication, the physical and mental strain is helped by the people around her. It's important to have people that you can get along with when you travel because you see them all the time and you know we're traveling together and I, when I was on the plane today I went to the bathroom and I kind of punched my hitting partner just because we get along just fine so it was fine. But of course he hit me back and I was like ow. Both Serena and Sasha have coping with jet lag down to a T. Just drink a lot of water um, and you'd be surprised how that helps with your jet lag before I get on the plane, after I get on the plane, and just keep yourself, keep your mind relaxed. Fight during the day and, um, I don't know, read at night until your eyes pass out. I don't know, I get tired from reading, so I read about them. Just fight during the day and whatever you do, don't nap. Like, that's, that's the worst, don't nap. Here we go. <laughs> For now, though, she has a new hitting partner. Aisha Dergahee, CNN, Heathrow Airport, London.